Hello friends, my name is Anand. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate standard time by using most. The most is nothing but Maynard operation sequence technique. Most is predetermined motion time system that is used in industry for setting the standard time in which worker should perform their task. The most which are commonly used are the basic most which was released in Sweden in 1972. In this slide you are going to see some variables of most that is A, B, G, A, B, P and A. So these motions are generally broken into different categories that is reach, move, turn, grasp, position, placement etc. So these variables and its significance you are seen in this slide. This slide shows the standard most chart. This chart is generally we are used to calculate standard time by using most. Here you are find general movement activity of the sequence model that is A, B, G, A, B, P and A. This we are used as a basic most while calculating the standard time by using most techniques. In left hand side you will find some index. The index are 0, 1, 3, 6, 10 and 16. If we choose the index as a 0, that time action distance is required close. Then body motion is nothing, can control is nothing and placement is just hold. If we are choose index as a 1, then action distance required within reach the grasp light object by using one or two hands then we are select as index 1 if we select index as a 3 that time action distance required one or two steps the body motion should be bent and arise with 50% occurrence and gain control with grasp object that is heavy or obstructed or hidden or interlocked and placement should be in light pressure like that one we select the index. Here you will find the TMU. The TMU is nothing but time measurement unit. One TMU is equal to 10 raised to 6 hours is equal to 0 0.006 minute is equal to 0 0.036 second. One index is equal to 10 TMU. We are generally use this index while calculating the standard time. So in this slide I will explain you the insertion of piston into the body. Just you will see this example. In this picture, you will find a man just grabs the piston by right hand side. So solving this such a type of problem while calculating the standard time, we need to be step this problem into some statement. So here we are made two statements. Statement one, within reaches grasping a piston by right hand and hold for the second. Again, we are also made the statement number second, that is within reach place the piston into a body with some adjustment. So for this calculation of insertion of piston into the body, we are made two st statement. So statement one, within reaches, grasping a piston. So within reaches, the index is one. So we are select here, action distance is one. Then body motion is zero. Then grasping, he just grasped the piston by his right hand. So for grasping the light object, the index is 1. So we are select here as index 1. Action distance is 0, body movement is 0, the placement is 0 and again action distance is 0. So we are having only two variables a1 and g1. So we are add this a1 and g1, 1 plus 1 will get 2 multiply by 10 because one index is equal to 10 TMU so we will get answer in TMU that is 20 TMU again this 20 TMU is converted into the second for this we need to multiply it by 0.36 so 20 into 0.36 is equal to 7.2 second like that one we are made another statement number 2 within reach place the piston into a body with some adjustment so within reach the body action is happen so within reach there is index 1 so here select as the index 1 
then whole body movement is zero grasping is zero again action is zero then body movement is zero and placement here the man is placed this piston into the body with some adjustment as well as with some light pressure so we are select index as a 3 because adjustment and light pressure double placement is index 3 so we are choose the index 3 for placement here so p3 plus action again 0 so we'll having here two variables a1 and p3 so adding these two variables 1 plus 3 will get answer 4 again it's multiply by 10 because one index is equal to 10 tmu so we'll get answer in tmu that is 40 tmu is equal to again this tmu is converted into second by multiply with 0.36 so we'll get answer 14.4 second so whole time is required for insertion of piston into the body is addition of statement 1 and addition of statement 2 so we'll get total time 7.2 plus 14.4 is equal to 21.6 second so 21.6 second is required standard time for insertion of a piston into the body thank you very much